channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we have uh, Concept of Thought. The Incredible Sulk features Dyke and Scissor. You know, for me, um, COT is one of those groups for me that I, I like the music that I've heard, man. Big fan actually of what what they've heard, what I've what I've heard from them. But it's one of those groups that kind of get lost for me, where um, for whatever reason they slip from my mind. And I've seen this on my list for a long time, and I just haven't got around to it. On vacation today, man. So I'm going to start my vacation right, jump on this track, and uh, give it a listen. So let's jump right in. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Is this from that's from Billy Madison, is it not? That's what I'm pretty sure that's Billy Billy Madison. It's one it's one of Adam Sandler's movies anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, it is Billy Billy Madison. Close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Well, I Middle finger to the teachers in my secondary. I've never been as stressed or seen depression weeping next to me. You get to see the best of me. And yes, the police arrest and keep rejecting each and every piece of lesson that you get to feed. Definitely. I wish the heads would bleed on all your fucking prints. Stand about the club as if it's nothing when you're loving it. Jump a bit, your muppet stuff a banger up your trouser leg and bounce again. You're bound to get injected by my fountain pen. And disrespect if you're in debt to me. I think we're friends and twisted threats to make a kid forget we'd ever lived or met. I've never read to Easy, yeah. SMB, TNF, CP forever high focus, be the team and yes, my reputation's like a needle in the vein, it's eating me away, I try to keep it in a cage, if you keep with an opinion, come and speak it in my face, then I'm wanking off your damp and soft penis Yo, at your mate. I write my raps cause I've got a lot of things to say. Yo mate, this is, first off, I, I, I love, I love the, the production on this, it is, one of those one of those times where it is like a gentle production right i know i've said this before is that sometimes there's production that is that is overwhelming not that it's i'm saying that in a good and bad way right sometimes production is so great it overwhelms also sometimes production is kind of shitty so it overwhelms and there's lots of, lots of reasons why that's the case. But this is one of those times for me where the production is just right. It's a little subdued. It's a little bit back. It's 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 great. You got that record crackle. Uh, you have a little bit of that. It sounded like she may have been singing French. I mean, it's only a snippet. But you have a, just a little voice come in there, man. I really, I really dug that. It's bringing the sample... And everything in the in the productions is bringing all this together. This this idea, this feeling of melancholy, the this the whole the whole vibe of the song, man. And and you hear Dyke on this, and it's there's is that angry Dyke, right? He's he's coming in. He's you hear the the pointed anger in his words and. A couple of bars in there that really stood. I wanted to let that go all the way through. I wanted because I didn't feel like I wanted to stop because he he had he was making such poignant points. I didn't want to stop that shit. But what, a few stood out to me, and one of the ones too is kind of the idea too, where he's talking and something about his reputation being like a needle in his vein is kind of like trying to keep that in the cage, right? It's like I feel like that's kind of the idea where you know the the person um, this this is where my mind went directly with that is like the person that that you know the the character of dirty dyke so to speak and the reputation that comes with him it does two things it can, it's it, i i feel like it can it can bring you happiness it can bring you riches it can it can bring you prominence it can bring you all these things but at the same time it can also be what leads to your depression what leads to your downfall what leads to your 
ultimate death, I guess. Not only that, it's like you death in, in the real way. I mean, we've seen we've seen it all the time with some with some movie stars and and musicians and stuff that just early deaths and shit. But it's also that drug, right? So it, it can it can get you high, but it can also bring you way down to the deepest dark darkest areas. But it can also make you feel like you're a god, right? So it's a blessing and a curse. So this is a really cool metaphor, man. I really do. I really do dig what he said there. It, it, with that one bar, but so much in that, man. I I just really appreciate that. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those. I just feel like that I'm gonna have to hear a bunch of times to fully grasp what's all that's going on. Especially if all these casts come with the same same type of 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 messages, right? The kind of deep thoughts. I should have known it was five minutes long. It was going to be one of those. I live afraid in a maze full of mirrors with a face full of liquor that's ashamed of my silly brain. Lay a face down in the pissing rain. Thinking, is it strange that humans could be like this? Every kid I meet. Okay, I want to bring this back just a second because I want to make sure I got all of that. But even that opening bar, or whatever, if I missed the first one, <laughs> but that bar about, you know, being in that room full of mirrors and a face full of liquor and. I mean, when you're in the you're in a room full of mirrors, all you got to do is look at faces, man. And especially if you know you have a drinking problem or you don't like the person you are when you drink, and then all you do is look around and see you're in a room full of mirrors, man. It's all the same face looking back at you, a face that you hate, a face of a man you try not to be. I mean, that's a, that's a hard hard room to be in. Your damp and soft penis Yo, at your face. I write my raps because I've got a lot of things to say. I live afraid in a maze full of mirrors with a face full of liquor that's ashamed of my silly brain. Lay a face down in the pissing rain. Thinking, is it strange that humans could be like this? Every kid I meet likes fighting. I've never seen the reason for violence. And I've spent my whole life hiding from the demons that creep in my mind. And I'm frightened. Of a lot of shit, I don't know what it is that has got my fist clinched like I wanna flip. Probably this bottomless pit that is profitless. Sick of staying brainwashed in Providence. I have reason to believe that today God is monstrous. So stop trying to be the person that God isn't and start naming the things that you want different or confined to this place of a lost vision. <clears throat> Damn, man, the the coming in with just that 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 passion, that those those insightful <laughs> insightful lyrics, man, like digging deep into that shit. Touch on so many things, both of these cats, man, to start to start the, the the track. I I I mean that one bar too is like it's hard to believe the you know, the world could be like this and. You know, I, I, I kind of touched on that in my last video, just this this weird time we are in right now. It's just like I I was even talking to my wife about it this morning. It's just like it's, it's just so much of me right now is just have this desire just I had to get away from it all. This this I, I don't I don't even know. Like I can't even explain the, the heaviness and the darkness that is around me right now and i know that's that's just a micro i'm a microcosm of what's happening in the world right and it's hard to believe we can be in a place especially i'm not sure how long ago this album came out it's got to be 10 plus years i'm thinking but to to know we're in 2024 and we, we're seeing what we're seeing right now and it's just every day it seems like every day there's something new that just sets you in this where you're just like, I can't believe I can't believe the world's like I cannot believe the world is like this. I can't believe people are like this. I can't believe this is the way people talk about each other, the way people treat each other. And he kind of ends it right too with this idea like start speaking into existence what you want. Like it's like that that old proverb I believe it's a proverb. It might it might have been said in two thousand six for the first time. <laughs> I don't know, but, um, you know, be the change you want to see in the world, man. 
or kind of stay where you are and wallow in self-pity and wallow in sadness and depression and blame everyone but yourself. Man. There's so much more there that I know I missed. Like I, it's, this feels like it's one of those tracks where I need to get a notepad and, and writing it out. Shit, just even shorthand, just to tell me, touch on this, man, because I know that verse, I, there was a bunch there that I wanted to get to. And, I, and just, so far, it's been brilliant, guys. This is a great track. Be the person the dog isn't And start naming the things that you want different Or confined to this place of a lost vision It's so simple. It's so simple to sample, but it's... Yo. Leaders of peace. Eating away at the crease, bit and pages. Scissor tongue spinning, some spilling off grease on the stage show. Deep in the cake hole. Dribbling from cleavers and blades, my credence is great. I see visions like light streams lying in your pipe dream pillars, same time, same place. Cyphers are made, rhymes fizzing like a firework display. As the gunpowder fades, settles on another great morning. I tend to wallow in these grubby days dawning. I tend to tunnel when the juggernauts roar in. I tend to plummet in this mothership falling. Rainstorms bring life with them, and bright lights hit them. Illuminating the sky like it's night vision. Making waves in their KZ your life rhythms In the same way as my shitty life This is my chance to moan and whinge about the things that piss me off Picking I mean One of the things you have to appreciate Is, is Scissor is, is, is a lot like Jam, right? Where He says some of the most interesting things he says some of the simpler simplest simple things in the most profound ways and the way he has this ability to paint pictures with his words that are so instantly recognizable what he's trying to say but at the same time are so profound that you have a hard time finding the words to explain what he just said <laughs> you know like that's that's the kind of position that i'm in right now so sometimes when, when Ed's going, I just kind of want to close my eyes and just listen to this this world that he's creating in eight bars, you know, just and and eight bars, sixteen bars, whatever it is, you just want to feel that and close your eyes and just kind of see what he does because that's exactly the type of MC that he is. He's I mean, he's a poet, right? Just like Jam and. It's just, the way that he ended that verse too, talking about everything that his life isn't, right? And that, especially now in the days of social media and stuff too, I find there's, that has become an epidemic for so many people. Definitely our, definitely our teenagers, man. Our teenagers are... I think our teenagers are in such a horrible place because of social media that I would not at all be upset if there was some kind of, it sounds horrible, but I would have, <laughs> especially, you know, because it sounds very non hip hop to say, man, like this, this is going to sound really, really strange coming from me, but I'd be from having three kids, man, and seeing what social media them coming in with different times of social media and seeing the effect, the different effect had it has has had on all three of them, who have who have been introduced to it at different ages, and I can tell you, with the oldest it wasn't overly bad, the middle child, there's some craziness that I saw happen with because of social media, and then my youngest now, where it's almost like if they could somehow 
have a, an IV and have it just put right into the veins that these kids would, man. And I, I'd be completely open that if they made that shit like alcohol or, um, you know, and just didn't let anyone do it under the age of 18, man. Cause I'm seeing this house destroying an entire generation of kids. You know, it's, it's blatantly obvious. And anyone that says that's not true, they're just not paying attention, man. It's destroying the kids. And I think kind of what, how Ed kind of ended this man, it's like, that's what social media is for these kids is you could give them everything in the world, but whatever they're seeing on their hand is these fake lives look so much better. These people look so much more beautiful. They have so much more great things. Like they're so stuck living other people's lives. It just reminds them exactly what they think, how horrible their own life is. And like how I'd say, like all these, all these beautiful things in the world, the rain coming, the, you know, the flowers that come in, the life that comes with the rain, all that kind of stuff. And it just reminds him everything that his life is not. And I think that's, he probably didn't mean social media when he wrote that, but that was my first thought is, is just seeing that is, is there's so many people that live their entire lives looking at other people being like, man, I wish I had what they had. I wish they had the, the girl that he had. I wish I had his car. I wish, meanwhile, there's some motherfucker looking at you saying, I wish I had his car. I wish I had his girlfriend. I wish I had food on my plate instead of you looking at your fucking macaroni and looking over here. Oh, I wish I was eating that tomahawk steak. And then you have this cat over here eating fucking rice crackers and flavorless ramen being, I wish I had some macaroni. Like it's, it's this constant desire to need more than what, want more than what you need and want always somebody else, man. They always have it better than me. And social media, to, it just goes so far into showing, seeding this or sowing the seed in these, in people's brains, man that you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not fast enough, you're not beautiful enough. You could always be better. You could always have more things. You can always, like, it's just rotting. It's rotting our society, man, and it's killing our kids. It's just fucked. I'm bright lights hit em. Illuminating the sky like it's night vision. Making waves in their KZ and life rhythms. In the same way as my shitty life. This is my chance to moan and whinge about the things that piss me off. Picking locks and swigging liquor till my liver pops. I hate knitted socks, I hate getting pissed with knobs. I hate all these gypsy kids that try to rip me off. So now I'm kicking rocks, bored trying to spit a song. I hate the fact that kids are dying and we're all made to watch strangely odd. I'll decapitate a rapist cock and leave him naked in a lake full of AIDS and rabid dogs. Time to shave and wash, time to chase a job. Wages drop, then they laid me off, so now it's time to make it stop. And say what you want, I just want to drink and spit. Wonder if the ink will fit. Getting licked and link a chick that's been riddled with a kiddie's pissy dick. I ain't into it, I'd rather live a bit and see this world for what it is. Money is changing a lot of shit, erasing the poor and elevating the proper rich. Stop and think. I ain't as happy as I used to be. Mm. Man, what a song this is. Like being trapped in a life, man, that that in one way that you hate, but at the same time you don't want to give up. But yet you... At the same time, you... Kind of goes back to what Dyke was saying at the beginning, right? Where the his reputation is both a blessing and a curse, and the same kind of thing being said here, where it's that there's there's certain things that come with this lifestyle, these choices that he hates, but at the same time, even when he tries to better himself, um, you know. Maybe not better himself, but in terms of he knows he has to get a job and and pay the bills. And, you know, like you said, like even like 
shave. I mean, I got to shave. Fuck, I haven't shaved for a while. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like have to shower and shave and do a job he hates. But even though he does those things, it's never enough. And that, like, hey, he loses his job. He gets laid off. And then he's stuck falling into that thing again. And basically all he wants to do is, is be an MC, but at the same time, you need to work to pay the bills because being an MC doesn't, but being an MC also puts you in this weird cycle of being around certain people that are bad for you or who you deem to be bad for you and who leads you down different pathways that make you uh, want to do things you necessarily don't want to do, uh, perhaps drink more than you want or, or do drugs, you, uh, all that kind of stuff, right? And then it's just kind of that cycle that just keeps going around. I kind of feel like that's... And he's like, all I want to do is be an MC, man. I just want to, I just want to spit and make this music. But there's so much more to this than than kind of meets the eye. There's 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 lots of there's lots of darkness and stuff surrounding something as simple as just wanting to be an MC and make music and you know live your life and. Wanna drink and spit, wonder if the ink will fit Getting licked and link a chick that's been riddled with a kiddie's pissy dick I ain't into it, I'd rather live a bit and see this world for what it is Money is changing a lot of shit, appraising the poor and elevating the proper rich Stop and think. I ain't as happy as I used to be From two to three I loop this beat to see what's new to me And I don't ever see the same as what I used to see and I won't ever change my name for what the rumours bleed Never. So who's he? I've tied the lace in time to make my shoe piece Where white wine are ways to change the news feed The great truth and it's true I tried to change it but it's you I'll be the same no matter what my name is in the view My brain's different and it's taking my mates with it My face mm-hmm. isn't plain fading or grey ridden I've made pictures in the place that keeps my mind stuck I'll never see the night where I don't really like life much So why fuss? Time flies by like a kite does. I buy drugs to tighten up my mind like a vice, but my life's divided by my vices and side love. Dice chucked, I'm gambling my life up. Yo, bro, that. <laughs> that, that verse. That verse, a lot was going on there, bro. That one. That one bar about something about his life, his his mind is changing and is bringing his mates with it. Is that being like, you know, you 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 start making your your attitude towards things start to change. Your you start thinking about the way you're living your life and who you surround yourself with. And then you realize you kind of look around the room and you think, you know, these people are, these people are bad for me. These people don't want the best for me. These people are snakes, whatever it is. Or if I stick around with these cats, man, I'm going to be dead or, or whatever, man. Is that kind of, I wonder if that's what he means by that, man. Take, taking, his mates with him, meaning his mind changes and then kind of like, I, I think and that's, that's what I took for that anyway. And the idea too were oh, hang on one second here. The great truth and it's true, I tried to change it but it's you I'll be the same no matter what my name is in the view My brain's different and it's taking my mates with it My face isn't plain fading or grey ridden I've made pictures in the place that keeps my mind stuck I'll never see the night where I don't really like life much So why fuss? Time flies by like a kite does I buy drugs to tighten up my mind like a vice But my life's divided by my vices and side love Guys chucked, I'm gambling my life up Hmm. Yeah, man, that was the other thing I was thinking too about that. The idea that like no matter who says shit about you, man, um, your your name, your who you are, doesn't change, right? I try to explain this to my my kids all the time. Like, you know, let people chat shit. 
because their opinion of you, this it doesn't mean anything. Truthfully, I mean, you can't allow somebody else's opinion to shape your opinion of yourself, man, because that's just a horrible way to live your life. And we're all, so many, if not all of us are, we fall victim to that mindset. Right? You have, you have one, one idiot say one thing. And I mean, I did it in my past, man. I've told a story. My favorite author loved my book that I wrote, but some fucking idiot that I'd never met before told me, said some horrible things in front of a writing group and I trashed it. I got rid of it, deleted it, gone. No more copies of it. And now for the past 15 years, I've been trying to rewrite it, try to finish it, <laughs> try to, and as you can imagine, it's been a nightmare. All because of one person, uh, one person's opinion, right? So your name doesn't change, man. It may change in that person's mouth. It may change in the ears of the people that that person has control over. But the people who really know you, man, that shit doesn't change, bro. It just doesn't change. And if someone, if somebody says something negative about you to me, and, and I think you're an upstanding cat, I could give two fucks, bro. That's your opinion. My opinion of this guy, he's rock solid. And no matter what you say, it's not going to sway me. But unfortunately, we have so many people. It's like, he said, what? Oh, fuck that guy. And all of a sudden, I have to hate you because my other friend hates you. Too much of that shit, man. And if that's the way that that person is, then fuck them both. That's what I say. You don't need people like that in your life. You know who you are, man. It's all that matters. Is that latency thing switched off? No, it's on. Because that's all right, it'll do. Can you turn the metronome off as well? Well, well, well? You know, big up for this song, man. This this stirred a lot of things in me today. I'm going to have to sit back, listen to this again, maybe once or twice more, and just... Yeah, man, I'm feeling I'm feeling a bunch of ways right now. So appreciate whoever it was way back in the day to say put this on the list because it was on the list a very long time, bro. But um, yeah, what a great track. What a great group of MCs. Great production. Uh, an absolute classic song, man. Um, yeah, big ups, yo. Thanks for being here, being part of it. And uh, hopefully... Uh, you know, this being an older track, it might bring back some memories, man, and make you smile. But I smile every day knowing I get to be this, do this with you guys, and I love you all. And until next time, stay safe. Good to each other.